Earlier this week, a mob of Trump supporters uh, bodily pushed and threw out a young African-American girl who was at a Trump rally, and it was an incredibly disturbing and scary scene. It's a new development, but in case you didn't see the original uh, event, here it is. All right, get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out of here. What? What are they doing? What are they doing? What's the purpose? Oh, look we have here. Some wonderful people. Oh. Hey, get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out of here. Unbelievable. USA, USA, USA. Hillary Clinton does not have. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Look at these people. Get out of here. Get out. Out, out, out. Get out. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, well. Get out. You know, in the old days, which isn't so long ago, when we were less politically correct, that kind of stuff wouldn't have happened. Today we have to be so nice, so nice. We always have to be so nice. They asked Ted Cruz at the debate. So if we weren't being so nice in pushing and throwing them out and yelling racial slurs at them, if we weren't being so nice, what would we have done in the before? In the old days, would we before, just shot them? No, I know what we would have done because we did it in the old days when we weren't so politically correct. And you had a black person causing problems, you'd have lynched them. That's what you'd have done. But they're being so nice by just physically assaulting her, right? Did that look nice to you when uh, the young guy, much bigger than her, and then the older veteran, just pushing her and pushing her? They're just being so nice. A mob. The In guy the old days, we'd just been done with it. Uh, you know, you know how what we would have done to it, finish it, right? Yeah. So these these are the new nice days where he get out, get out. It's, John's right, During while we're watching it, he said it sounded like German. It was like, mach schnell, mach schnell, right? Yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't mean it. He's just using it to get votes. Yeah. I know, that's what they said about Hitler, literally in a New York Times article in 1922. Oh, it's just uh, morsels of populism. He doesn't really mean the anti-Semitism. He's using it to get votes. He won't really yeah. do anything. And as you see this uh, if clear, at least fascist wannabe, get out! Get out! Get him out! Yeah. And he's not saying that to security. Yeah. Security has a job, and removing people who don't want to go is a tough job, right? But he's saying it to the mob, and the mob is is going on these yeah. people and pushing and shoving and doing all these things. Luckily, she didn't get dragged down there, but we've seen the mobs where they drag people yeah. down too. You have to wonder what his response would have been if someone had pulled out a knife and stabbed her. Mm -hmm. Like we, we don't know, and and we, it's easy to say, well, what if Obama had been shouting, "Get out! Go! Go!" It would have been insane, but even if George W. Bush had done that, that would have been that would have been seen as an issue. Like he needs even like, he's W. Unhinged. Bush wouldn't have done that. Yeah, yeah. Like if yeah, George no way, W. Bush yeah. did Maybe Cheney. that, Ray, no, Reagan wouldn't have done no, it. No, but wouldn't have anyone done he would have done that, they'd be H. like, "H. W. This guy's yeah. unhit." You know, I mean, they yeah. got rid of uh, Muskie because he cried. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, right? and, and, Muskie yeah, cried? yeah, yeah. So, so it, by, by the way, we know a little bit about some of the people in the crowd, at least. The guy in the red hat who got in her face and looked like he was talking to the person who murdered his parents. Uh, that guy is uh, Matthew Heimbach, who I know because back a couple of years ago in TYTU, I covered a story of him. And he was at Towson University, and he had started a white student union. And now he's going to Trump rallies to try to assault African Americans that he sees there. And so that's who finds this sort of thing appealing, and that's who crowds into Trump rallies. Now, before you get to the last guy uh, that's the update in the story, I, I just want to finish the thought you started. Imagine if it's an Obama rally. Imagine it's an Obama rally, and there's a lot of black supporters of President Obama, and they've got a white person who's protesting. 
And Obama goes, get out, get him out, get him out. And a bunch of black people start pushing a white girl instead of a, a black girl. girl. Oh my God. A white girl. And they start pushing her and they get in her face and they yell at her. Hmm, I wonder what the press would say. I wonder what Fox News would mm. say. They probably wouldn't talk about thugs at all, though. They wouldn't call them thugs, would they? Yeah. I mean, do you have any idea how quickly Obama would have been disqualified from the race back in 2008 if he had done 10% of that? They would have said, angry black man, we knew it, that's how these black people are. But Trump does it. Oh, that's, hey, he's just trying to it's, get votes. It's yes. so, cr it's impossible to even imagine. Because yeah. it's so outside of the realm of anything that could ever have happened. So but I, it's just routine. And I mean, I'm, we cover it, and then another one will happen in a week. We won't have time to cover it. It just happens so routinely. And I, so this is not the thing that's getting passed around. Like Jared Snuffleupagus is going to talk about this on Sunday. Chuck Todd's not going to talk about yeah. this. Morning Micah is not going to talk about this, right? Like the way we're talking about it. I bet Definitely they, not if they Nick even cover Joe. it at all, they won't. Do you think they're going to show a, a video of him screaming like that? No. But what they will do, and I remember distinctly because I played it on the Jimmy Dore show this week is that when they threw out Jorge Ramos that first time when they manhandled him when he was doing journalism, they went immediately to Katie Tour, went with Chris Hardball on MSNBC, and she said, oh, that was his body man, because Chris goes, hey, who's the goon who threw him out? And she said, oh, that was his body man. He's actually, he's a very nice guy, actually. <laughs> That's how they've been covering this. Yeah. And, it's, and, and I've heard that they're doing horrible things to the press, the way they're treating them, putting them in pants, yeah, that's true. locking them in places. Choke slamming them. Chokes, but, but the press Literally. isn't co doing anything because they don't want to lose access to yeah. Donald Trump. That's really happening right now. And by the way, the other day when the Secret Service went out, it, it was at a rail, I think it might have been in Kentucky, he did, there was like 20 black people there, and he knew they were there to protest him, so he told the Secret Service, go get rid of him, and the Secret Service did get rid of him. Well, since when is the Secret Service our bouncers? For the yeah. guy. Let me just quickly fill in the details of those two stories. It was 30 black students, and all they had done was stand up. They didn't. They didn't say anything. There was no uh, uh, protest out loud. They're like, "Oh, there's black students. Get them out. Get them out. Get, get them out. out." Okay. Black students. That's it. That's their charge. Was you're black at a Trump rally. You yeah. got to go. They didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah. Now, as they were leaving, they were, then they were like Jesus, and then they would put out their hands and stuff like that. Then uh, the reporter you're talking about, Time Magazine uh, uh, Photog, really well-known photographer, the Secret Service. Now they got this, the government doing the fascism for him, right? Choke slammed him, picked him up, and threw him on the ground, and we had the video of it. And he didn't press charges because he doesn't want to lose access. Because he went 18 inches, according to his description, 18 inches out of the cage that they have the press in. This is what our country has devolved into, and we're pretending it's normal. And yeah. th but you wonder how. We got fascism in those other countries. This is how we got it. Why? By everyone normalizing racism, normalizing fascism, as if there's nothing wrong. Yeah. There's something terribly wrong. And yeah, you heard exactly. Les Moonves, the recording of Les Moonves giggling about yeah. how much money they're making. So this is the problem is that they get make a lot of money propping up a fascist. They don't make any money, get a guy who's going to get money out of politics. So exactly. that's why they're shitting on Bernie Sanders. And they're propping up a guy who's literally doing, and they're giggling all the way to the bank while their country yeah. goes down the tubes. Like fascism could really come to America. Like it's there. You see this underbelly, right? I'm sure Hitler's speech has got great ratings. Yeah. I'm at, sure back in the day. Re really fast, I want to run through this just because it's a, the, the, an important detail. Uh, one of the people that you see in those videos uh, has actually had consequences for the fact that he was apparently, uh, it, like, we're not supposed to insult the white supremacists that we're trying to throw out African American. Anyway, he was throwing this woman out because he absolutely hated her and everyone who looks like her. Uh, so if we can bring up this picture, you're going to see Joseph Pryor there. Uh, that's him there. Now, uh, this picture was not, like, just taken out of screen caps. He was enthusiastically putting this as the cover photo for his Facebook page. Yes. And because he did that, the Marines were able to identify him as Joseph Pryor. He, he was so happy to be shown angrily screaming Bullying. at an out group right. in his it's, eyes mm -hmm. that he was enthusiastically spreading on his Facebook. Well, unfortunately for him, he was, uh, he's now been discharged from a delayed entry program, which is a stopping point for hopeful Marines to prepare them for boot camp. So he was gonna become a Marine, but thankfully the Marines did the right thing and booted his ass out. Uh, now they released a sta uh, statement saying, uh, Joseph Pryor demonstrated poor judgment in his use of social media that associates him with a racially charged altercation at a political rally. Hatred toward any group of individuals is not tolerated in the Marine Corps, and he is being discharged from our delayed entry program effective yesterday. Although even in that statement, they're simply implying that his uh, social media activity implied that he was near those people. They're not saying that he necessarily did anything. 
Um, I think they should know what he was trying to say by both being at the rally, doing what he did, and then advertising it on social media. And by the way, if it wasn't clear enough, they were, of course, race, uh, uh, yelling racial slurs at her yeah. as they were pushing her out. Exactly. Okay. No. <laughs> I know, that was a big shock, right? And so when the guy brags about it, to the point where like this is what the literally the picture he wants to present to the rest of the world by making his Facebook homepage picture, right? Yeah. The Marines are like, I don't know if you know this, but uh, you're going to have to work with black Marines, right? Yeah. That's they're also in the United States Armed Forces and we don't tolerate that crap, okay? Yeah. Good for the Marines. Now, of course, the right wing will say, "Oh, you see that? We become a PC culture. I remember the good days when the Marines used to be racist." And, you know, and uh, yes. you know, and we used to keep the blacks in different barracks. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. If you think that's the good old days, but uh, this is the Marines doing the right thing, and I believe that right wing told me that when the military does something, it's you're supposed to shut the fuck up and salute. 